Talk about a full 180, huh? Talk about doing a full 180 from the previous track. That's... Uh, he's, he's a smart dude. Here come the bully. I'm such a meanie. I just do what I feel. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome, all my beautiful people. I'm your host, the old white suburbanite, Chiggity Chizek One, the old King Chizek, and I'm here, ready to react to the latest from Tom McDonald, the guy who everybody loves to hate. And this one's called Withdrawals, and it's just two weeks after he dropped Don't Look Down, which was, uh, holy shit, dude. <laughs> he went all out on that, emotionally. So, you know, with a title like Withdrawals, uh, it's pretty obvious what the song's gonna be about. The thumbnail, I mean, alright, I didn't see anything of the video yet, but I saw the thumbnail, I see the title. I'm feeling this is gonna be a, a emotional journey. That's my best guess. So we'll see um we'll see what he puts together on this one. Let's get into it. The doctor said to talk to him if I wanted to get off my meds, but I never called his office in, or the bottle in the garbage can. I'm stuck in this apartment and I'm anxious like the cops are here. I tried to call like all my friends. None of them are answering. Is this the moment where I can't control it? Got no appetite, I guess the party's over. I can't sleep at night and I keep rolling over. Cause my skin is itchy and the paranoia got me worried, sick, and it is so annoying. I've been throwing up, it looked like motor oil. But I chose to quit and now I can't avoid it. The right things to do are the hardest choices. Is this the moment when I need a donor? Liver failing from the liquor pouring. While the room is spinning, it ain't vodka soda. What is almost killing me is me and sober. Talk about pitfalls. Surrounded by brick walls. This is what kids call. Withdrawal. Deleted every number from my phone. I'm staying home. Really wish that I was. Talk about a full 180, huh? Talk about doing a full 180 from the previous track. That's. Uh, he's he's a smart dude. He's a smart dude. He he knows he knows how to pace these releases. What to put out? It's like it's like when you put an album together, you don't want to have too much repetition you want to keep it surprising you want to keep you know throwing throwing them curves well holy shit man you've succeeded because i wasn't ready but i wasn't ready for it to sound this good this sounds really good like i mainly uh, like don't get me wrong i mean i i think he's a talented artist i just don't have him on heavy rotation it's like it's not what i'm bumping right I like to listen to it. I'm like, that was a good statement. That's cool. Uh, it's it's pleasant in terms of, you know, it's it's sonically pleasant, but not to the point where I'm just driving in my car and I'm just listening to it. You know, I, I, I said, Aesop Rock's going to win out over there. Red Man's going to win out when it comes to just bumping stuff. Just just want to bob your head to, to, to the flow and the beat. But this, this is really good. This is really good, like surprisingly good, because I was ready for that usual cadence that he comes out with, and that's not there. He um he he fully switched it up. All right, let me let me shut up. Let me let me just listen to more of this. Also, side thing, like last thing before I start again. That 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 fucking thing he's got right here above the bridge of his nose. Sorry, I don't mean to flip you all off. That fucking thing he's got right here. That shit's bugging me because it's off. Right? Is that like OCD or something? Like, can, can you be like properly in the middle so one side isn't sticking out? Shit's <laughs> bugging me. All right, let's get into it. Soda, what is almost killing me is being sober. Talk about pitfalls. Surrounded by brick walls. This is what kids call withdrawal. Deleted every number from my phone. I'm staying home. Really wish that I was drunk with all my friends. I'm gonna beat it or I won't and overdose. place my parents in i'm scared but peril never fix the voluntary negligence the wear and tear my errors did they almost had to bury me is this the moment where i screw up and relapse waste all my money on rehab can't take a pill from the doctor to relax lash out in anger whenever i react feel like a weak man i don't want to be that living every day to get a buzz on the weekend i'm in the deep end fighting with demons trying to stay clean i just really need a reason a 
bones are shaking in my hands and feet. I see my rib cage, but I can't eat. I still wake up panicking, so I can't sleep. I just sit in the bathtub and try to breathe. Talk about pitfalls, surrounded by brick walls. This is what kids call withdrawal. Deleted every number from my phone. I'm staying home. Really wish that I was drunk with all my friends. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is um. This is going to be really powerful stuff for everybody else who has gone through this. I can't, I can't relate on a personal level to drug addiction because I uh, I'm a really boring dude. I'm straight and narrow. Um, the only thing I abuse is sugar, so I can't relate to what this is. Only vicariously. I have family members who go through it or who have gone through it. Now they're, you know, uh, they've been dry for a long time. Th this is going to hit a lot of people in the fields. Even grew his uh, beard out a little bit, got the scruff going to play the character of somebody who's going through the process. So you don't actually care too much about the way you look. Right? It's like, who gives a shit about shaving right now? I'm, I'm, try I'm fighting for my life. I'm trying to get back to some kind of sense of normalcy. I'm gonna beat it or I won't and overdose. Really wish that I was high with all my friends. I've never felt this bad before. I don't know if I'll make it. Don't have the strength to get off the floor right now. But I'm hoping and praying. My whole life I wanted more This might be the end But now I've had too much fun It's over now I loved what I hated Deleted every number from my phone I'm staying home Really wish that I was drunk with all my friends I'm gonna beat it or I won't And overdose Really wish that I was high with all my friends all right i'm calling it now i'm calling it now this is a very powerful message about the difficulties of withdrawal and how you feel in that moment I'm going to take take his word on it. As I said, I can't speak about this from personal experience. It's very candid. It's very uh, it's very vulnerable. That's the word I'm looking for. He's uh, he's going for this aesthetic of vulnerability, and it works. It's convincing. But the thing that I'm the thing that I'm really like surprised by is just how good of a song it is and i was not ready for how how much of an earworm that melody is that chorus da -da 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 i know i'm butchering it but the point is it's really good it makes me want to hear it over and over again so i i just said that i don't have tom on heavy rotation and it's probably not the best song to have on heavy rotation because of the content you know if i can't personally relate to it but that is a that is a fantastic melody this one's gonna have staying power this one's gonna have staying power because that is a legit good song wow and and of course you know props to nova who's just getting better and better with um the, with the way she makes these videos because she knows how to capture moments i was i was complaining about um, Rugged Man's videos and how I usually uh, feel kind of disappointed by what he puts out because the videos don't correspond to the songs. Like the, the, there isn't a, um, a a synergy or a mesh between the videos and the songs sometimes. And like like I was disappointed with um, Golden Oldies uh, because I I thought that you know that that cinematography the cuts could have been a lot better. Well, Nova knows what she's doing. Nova is hitting it out the park. I'm really impressed. A super clever marketing move too. I mean, uh, you, you forget you forget that it's a marketing strategy, but it's definitely there. You want to just 
blindside them with like, okay, I came out this thing, and now I'm going to be super vulnerable about this very, very important thing that I've battled through in my life. Hats off to this one. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Tap ta da ta da tap ta da tap ta da ta da tap ta da tap ta da ta da tap ta da tap ta da ta da tap ta da. She's a quan.